If you haven't checked out the Congo mask exhibit at the Virginia Museum of Fine Arts, time is running out. It ends February 24th. The collection of more than 130 masks showcases a fascinating centuries old tradition of African storytelling, and it's a tradition that continues today through one Richmond artist. Karen Clark creates masks with messages using faces to tell stories of a community without saying one word. Some people mix clay and water and only get mud. I usually kind of meditate and see what direction I feel like going in. But when artist Karen Clark mixes the two, I want to go ahead and start opening up this clay. She molds masterpieces. I'm trying to tell stories of so many people. Masked, to be exact, in all sizes, shapes, and shades. But these masks don't cover faces. These faces actually uncover stories. Stories Clark heard loud and clear about a decade ago after a trip to Ghana and Senegal. She found artistic inspiration on the African continent, but the trip also helped her to see what she could not find on museum walls, whether abroad or here at home. And I looked at museums and I didn't see faces or masks in a lot of the museums. So I wanted to create a body of work where people would be able to see themselves um, with angular nose, full lips, high cheekbones, different hairstyles, to tell stories of um, what would have been in the diaspora and how we are using it in present day. The lack of representation caused this potter's wheels to turn, first mentally, then physically. She shaped molded and eventually brought faces and the often ignored stories behind them to life. Some faces express pride. This is um, this symbol means love um, and this one is also never forget your history and it's just kind of right there on the back of her neck. Others pain. When we were having uh, the uh, um, the riots in Charlottesville my inspiration came from this piece behind you uh, dealing with the red white and blue on the face. Beads envelop these faces, suggesting their importance as traveling griots. And then there are faces with no particular story behind them at all. Yet each face matters and reveals some type of beauty. The overall message Clark believes lies within each groove and each twist of these silent storytellers. You get up in the morning, you look at your face, you don't like this, you see a crow's foot, you want to get your eyebrows done, things of that nature. But instead of really looking at the details of how beautiful the facial features are, it's really about the inner spirit that's really projecting out in the pieces that is giving you that, that, that thing that makes you smile. So when you look at yourself and you appreciate yourself, despite everything that you see, you know on the inside, I'm okay. It's an age old craft of using faces to face the truth. And these masks, along with their messages, help Clark to creatively carry a more diverse history into the future. It tells our story. Karen Clark not only creates masks, but functional pieces as well. So if you'd like to check out her work or even take pottery lessons, look for this story on the NBC 12 News app.